top tenners, are you guys feeling hungry? Are you feeling nostalgic? Well, you're in the right place. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and this is the top 10 discontinued fast food items we all miss. Part two. Jumping right in, coming in at number ten, we have Muk Spaghetti. Muk Yum, more like. I would love to be able to order spaghetti from McDonald's. I don't always want a burger, and spaghetti is just healthier. Back in the late eighties and early nineties, McDonald's tested out an Italian pasta style menu with Muk Spaghetti, Muk Lasagna, and even Muk Pizza. Sadly, it was a flop, and the Muk Spaghetti was gone. It did see a resurgence in New Zealand and Australia, although it was discontinued due to low demand. Good news though, you can still get muk spaghetti in the Philippines, although that's one really, really long plane journey. Coming in at number nine, we have the ever glorious and much missed Pizza Hut Priazzo. Absolutely all of the yum, wow. The Priazzo was a deep dish pizza that the hut served up in some locations in the 80s and early 90s. I never actually had it because I probably wasn't born when it was around at my local hut, but it did look cheese delicious. Unfortunately, the dish proved too long to cook, kind of ruining the fast element of fast food at Pizza Hut. Subsequently, it was axed, but I'm pretty devastated. I love me a deep dish. Coming in at number eight, we have a deep fried apple pie from McDonald's. Ah, the deep fried pie. It's pretty much mythical these days. I do remember deep fried apple pies, and I remember that they were hotter than the actual sun, and you needed to cool them down for at least 10 minutes. Although McDonald's does still do cherry and apple pies, they're baked these days. Back in the good old days when people stuck two fingers up to cholesterol and heart disease, McDonald's deep fried their pies. Ah, the glory years. They were tastier though, I have to admit. Coming into number seven of the top 10 fast foods we all miss, we have something that actually maybe not all of us miss, just the goths and the freaky novelty food color lovers among us. That's right, we have the black Burger King burger. Why? Why are they black? Some Burger King branches, including some in the UK and Japan, had special Halloween burgers, and they were very black. Some people loved this, some people were very, very off put by this, and for me, I kind of took issue with the fact that they had black cheese. Yes, black cheese. Using squid ink and a bamboo charcoal infused bun, this was one really dark burger. For some people, it's just all about the novelty. Coming into number six, we have Muk Fish Bites. Mmm. I would actually really like it if these came back, because I've recently gone pescatarian, and I mean, fish bites. If you could have Muk Chicken Nuggets, why can't you have Muk Fish? The Muk Fish Bite was a glory that was introduced in the 2013 era, way back then, and it was quickly pulled when sales fell flat. Made of Alaskan Pollock, the healthier option snack just wasn't a goer. Coming into number five, we have the Burger King Shake 'em Up Fries. Ah, 2002, where have you gone? And why did you take the Shake 'em Up Fries with you? Shake 'em Up Fries were chips sold with little packets of flavoring that you could mix in. McDonald's actually used to do something really similar, and I, for one, really enjoyed making making my chips cheesy. Coming into number four, we have the Muk Hot Dog. Absolute Muk, yes. Why is it always about burgers with these guys? I mean, sometimes the honey just needs the sausage. In the 90s, some UK and American stores sold hot dogs, although they just didn't prove a hit. Apparently you can still buy them in Tokyo though. I guess in a lot of places in the US you're never too far from a hot dog stand, but the good people of the United Kingdom need a dog. Coming into number three, we have Burger King Cine Minis. Cine Winnies, that's what I say. These babies had a cute little advert back in 1998, and they were only 99 cents, and they had a sugary dipping sauce that you could dunk them in. To be honest though, I have to say Cinnabon does do it better, which is probably why these never really took off. Coming into number two, we have the Muk Super Size. I mean, some people ruined all the fun by eating way too many Muk Super Side meals and getting, you know, heart disease. But for me, it was always nice to know that it was an option if I was really hungry. Ever since Morgan Spurlock put the spotlight on Super Size meals in the documentary Super Size Me, people were kind of outraged at the calorie intake on offer. This led to McDonald's cancelling their Super Size menu, which, I mean, some people were pretty sad about. Finally, a recent addition that has divided opinions recently discontinued, we have the Starbucks Unicorn Frappuccino. For a limited period, Starbucks offered what was largely half ice cream, half drink, the Unicorn Frappuccino. It was literally all over social media, although a lot of people were saying it was a lot prettier than it was tasty. Katy Perry even spat hers out. Some people loved it and raved about it, while others absolutely couldn't stand it. Unicorns didn't like it either. There's actually a news report of unicorns being really pissed off about it. I mean, you can't please everyone, but I don't know. 
they looked kind of nasty. So guys, there we have it. What do you miss most from this list? Let me know in the comments section down below. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate. I'm feeling really, really, really hungry, although never hungry enough for black cheese. Give this video a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed for more entertaining lists just like this coming at you every day. I'll see you next time.